in the dead of night when the moon yawns down. Two gloomy robber dogs plodded through town. Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to read Shifty, Magifty, and Slippery Sam. Hmm, a robbery book or something else? Are you ready? Let's go. In the dead of night, when the moon yawned down, two gloomy robber dogs. Plodded through town. They got to the house, and they flopped down inside. Ah,、oh, we were no good at robbing at all. Shifty sighed. He tipped out the swag bag, but nothing was there, except for a spider who gave them a scare. You're right, nodded Sam. We were bad at this job. And think of the places we just couldn't rob, the bank, and the butchers, the paper shop too, the bookshop, the bike shop, and even the zoo. Hey, we should rob somewhere less tricky. Sam cried. Like where? Muttered Shifty. Where haven't we tried? Other neighbors. Yelled Sam with a hoop and a shout, but hang on, ground Shifty. They never go out. He paced up and down. We will invite them to tea, a party. He sniggered. Oh, clever old me! And then, when the neighbors are here having fun, we'll sneak to their houses and rob everyone. But. Parties have food," grumbled Sam. "We can cook." "Don't worry," said Shifty. "We've got this cookbook." They started with donuts, and to their surprise, they turned out just right. So they cooked some fruit pies, now cupcakes," cried Shifty. "And let's ice them too. I never knew baking was fun, Sam. Did you?" The party day came, and the neighbors piled in. How lovely! said one with a big curly grin. They gasped with delight when the food was set down. So creamy, so dreamy, the best buns in town. Why? Thank you, blushed Shifty. It's nothing, beamed Sam. Would you care for a donut with raspberry jam? Now. Let's have a moment. Psst, haste, Shifty. They are all drinking tea. We need to get robbing. I think. Follow me. As they sneaked through the window, they hadn't a clue that a neighbor had heard what they wanted to do. They are thieves! He cried crossly. I think that it's time that we all put a stop to this terrible crime. As the robber dogs went to see what they could find, all of their neighbors were creeping behind. Oh, wow! Whispered Sam, as they slunk through the door. They'd never seen so many goodies before. Then, all of a sudden, the door opened wide. No, you don't. Yelled their neighbors, bursting inside. But the Scooty Dog suddenly started to sob. My, my Teddy, he sniffled. They stole big-eared Bob. Don't cry, pleaded Shifty, and Sam turned quite pink. We're sorry, they murmured. We just didn't think. We see now. That robbing makes everyone sad, but we still need a job. Just a job that's not bad. I know! 
cried the sausage dog, nodding his head. Why don't you open a cafe instead? A cafe? Gasped Shifty. Do you think that we could? Oh yes! Cried the others. You'd be really good. So the very next week on the town's busy street, their new cafe opened, all shiny and neat. It had white polished tables and chairs with pink hearts, and it served yummy cupcakes and little jam tarts. Oh, wow, Sam! Grinned Shifty. Just look at that queue. All of our neighbors are waiting, and other dogs too. Some peered from the window and fluffed up his hat. No more robbing, he nodded. We're done with all that now. Shifty and Sam never grumble or groan. They love baking cakes and they leave crime alone. And as for their swag bag, I'm happy to say, they crumbled it up and they chucked it away. We all enjoyed today's reading. Shifty McGifty and Spray Sun. Oh, they are the world's most useless burglars when their master plan for robbery goes hopelessly wrong again. They discover that crime doesn't pay, but cupcakes certainly do. Cupcakes? Oh, someone is talking about cupcakes. Why don't you check the tiger who came to tea out as well? You can find reading aloud here. Don't forget to subscribe. More interesting books reading aloud are coming soon.